wholeness and balance vibrations, what's going on? I'm getting tons of emails, my box is blowing up, so I gotta get on this message right now in order to possibly save my bandwidth from what's going on right now. Tons of people emailing me. I didn't stay up last night for the elections. I noticed people start emailing me around 1 a.m., so that must have been when it went down. What am we talking about here? So first of all, I wanna tell you right now that if this is your first time ever hearing messages about what you think is conspiracy and what you think could be far-fetched, that maybe you want to keep this video on for a bit more longer than you would normally keep it on when you would go click off into something else. And even if you think for one moment, because of my skin color, that I may not be able to give you the truth, because that's the game that's about to be played, that maybe you want to listen to this message just right now so you can hear yourself, because I am you. Now, what I'm going to break down right now is I'm gonna break down to you exactly what's happening with these elections. I'm gonna break down to you exactly how this is all put together. And I'm also gonna deliver you a massive solution so that you can get yourself to the next level ASAP because I have a feeling that a lot of people right now are not wanting to play the game anymore. And what game am I talking about? This is a Joker card, whether you can see it or not, I'm talking about the House of Cards. You already know that there was a series just recently on TV and actually on now telling you about all the stuff going on in the White House, how they're all on the same team, how they handle all these uh, different things that go on in the world and scrupulously, and how they're basically on a tirade to run the world like they've always been. This is the same thing going on over and over, but because this is your generation, this is not you knowing five to 600 to 1,000 years in the past and what's gone on for your ancestors and what they've experienced under these same regimes that have tapped into the continuum side of themselves and what they're running, and they can continuously work together in order to create a reality of chaos for you. So I'm gonna talk about today how to get out of that reality, how to get yourself out of the matrix. My name is James Bomar, for those who don't know me, I wrote The Code to the Matrix, the book you can download for free on the internet, like uh, I guess seven years ago now. And in that book, it details a lot about what I'm gonna talk to you about today, but it also gets into different things about linguistics and all sorts of stuff. And if you wanna catch us like in real time, you can catch us at Secret Energy because even starting today, that's secretenergy.com, excuse me, secretenergy.com. And we're gonna to start today, I'm actually changing up some things with the site, and we're gonna be like the world star hip hop of consciousness. And so it's, it's going on. So let's start with this. So 9-11-11-9, you get it? 9-11-11-9, today is 11-9, today you found out about the election. Now the last 9-11 or sequence of these numbers, a situation happened that divided the world. And of course that's the 9-11 Twin Towers, two towers, the 9-11 uh, sums up to 20, you simplify that, that's two, that is the number of division, okay? Now what we're dealing with right now is that, as I explained to you, it's like a house of cards. We watched this whole charade of this election that seemed so fanciful. It seemed just so far-fetched that even these two candidates could be the last running mates in the whole thing. And as people were very disgruntled about the situation just overall, many people found themselves fighting against the greater of two evils. Some people were over there like, okay, a woman can't be president. I definitely ain't gonna vote for the man. Some people were like, well, you know, she's corrupt and, 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 and I, her past and all this, so I'm definitely gonna vote for Trump. And some people were like, I'm definitely not voting for Trump. He's a racist, so I'm gonna have to vote for this other lady. And then, some, and so this was going on in most people's mind and it built a field of chaos. It got wild. And when things get wild, because this is a house of cards, what comes out? The Joker. This is also known as the Trump card. It was developed during the Civil War, meaning it was added to the deck of cards during the Civil War. And if you don't think that the deck of cards is very important, let me just give you a quick crash course about what tarot is. Tarot means the wheel. It comes from the word rota, meaning to rotate. That's the occult meaning of tarot. And how tarot is set up is that basically because of the constellations, because of your zodiac, because you know all the different things that go on on the planet that resonate who we are and what we are until we snap out of the matrix program, then there is this basic path that you're, you go down. And many people can get stuck on different parts of the path or born in different parts of the path. And then because this path is a complete circle, you end up basically trans muting yourself over and over again, and they call that reincarnation, right? 
So this art is so well studied, especially in Germany. People don't realize that the original secret societies were most interested in the system of the tarot, which came out of Kemet, to understanding of what's basically going to happen next. And so through all that knowledge, which it takes you to look at some of my past recordings to really decipher completely because it's a lengthy subject, a new system was developed, a new house of cards, the cards of 52 in the deck. Because remember, some of the tarot, they have nine cards. That was like the original tarot. Then there was another tarot that was put out uh, by who we would say are the Hebrews. And that was uh, 22 characters to match with their language of 22. And then now we have one that is 50, 52 cards come out, okay? And in that 52 cards, notice how you have 52 weeks in a year, okay? And then notice how also you have 27 letters in the language, and when you times that by two, you get 52, right? Now think about this, some number sequences. And if for one moment, if you think that this numerology thing is a game, then I just showed you two things that maybe you possibly didn't know about how the tarot deck, the modern tarot deck, which is the one that's used in the United States by occultists, is 52 cards. And that 52 cards lines up to all the days in the week and all the weeks in the year. And the reason why that's done is because there has to be some kind of system or program to be able to manipulate things. So where we're at right now is that we are now in a card game where the Joker is being pulled, the Trump card, the wild card, because many people right now are just obliterated about how this could be happening to them how that the world could elect a president and even a first lady. Like imagine now there's Melania Trump as a first lady. I mean, I, I can't even, I, I don't even get into the presidency, but I understand the game and I'm gonna show you the game. I'm gonna show you the game as we talk in this conversation and how it's all played. But the most interesting thing is when we watch basically two very artificial people take over the entire country, you're gonna get the mannequin challenge. Basically, people are gonna be frozen in their actions because they're gonna be thinking about all this so much about what's gonna happen, they're gonna become basically petrified and frozen in fear if they don't listen to recordings like these and tap back into themselves and get out of the program. So here's what we're talking about. We're talking about that People had to understand that when they elected Barack Obama into office, that automatically set things up for Donald Trump to come into office because after all, if the world can go pro-black, it's gonna have to be able to go pro-white. So it's like the yin and the yang of the entire matter. But let's get even deeper. People have to realize that even since it's recorded in biblical times that when the people asked to have a king over themselves, what it actually created was it created a time to where all of a sudden everyone's freedom, even Godhead, who they thought was the most high, was completely usurped by this leader. And that happens in, uh, uh, when they bring in Saul. Okay? Saul is also known as salt in the occult. The salt has a hexagonal pattern similar to the pole on Saturn. And Saturn is known as that old king. Okay, so the system that you are under right now, unless you choose to eject from the matrix, which I hope you choose to do today, is completely Saturnalian, all right? And now for those who are still trying to figure out the difference between Saturn and Lucifer, uh, both of these characters are the less and greater of two evils. And it doesn't matter what you think that they truly are and what you've been kind to believe that they are, there are groups that practice deep rituals to determine what those names and what those symbols actually mean. So when we're living in this era, the Luciferian and the Saturnalian occultism is what you actually seen in the White House just now with Hillary Clinton playing the Luciferian feminine role, right? And then Donald Trump playing the satanic masculine divided role, okay? So this is all of basically blue team versus red team at its best. And it's interesting because even when you're seeing all these publications come out like uh, Dr. Strange, you can get an idea of how much occult knowledge the megastructure or industrial complex, which is the military and Hollywood and how they work together, Ronnie Reagan, 
all the stars from, you know, the false stars, uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce coming in and trying to endorse and sending their power into this. And, but the goal is, is just to get you to vote, okay? Because that's what was said, that out of all things, at this particular election, more people voted than ever voted in history. And this is obviously because the influence of social media and then how social media can get everyone commenting on things and everyone feeling like they're all a part of something, but still that something is being controlled by what put all of that in front of you, what created the internet. The internet was used by the military for 40, 50 years before it actually was released to the public. The entire internet is in the cradle of the military industrial complex as far as how everything is set up, just so you're aware. So what we're talking about here is we're talking about a grand play. And that's why it's known as the house of cards because when you see them put the mask on in, in the occult rituals, right? You know, like the one on eyes wide shut, you know, you see the mask. Those masks are actually cognates of tarot cards that you are to take on the role of that card. That's what they talk about in these books in the secret societies, right? So now Donald Trump is taking on the role of the Joker, the wild card, the one that nobody expected to win. And the actions that will now occur after this will completely be wild card and Jokerish. People will not expect some of the things to occur. So the reason why you have to get this conversation in your head and your consciousness today is because you need to realize that, hey, all this is is another wake up call like 9-11, another time to snap you out of the hypnosis to let you know that this is not a game for you. This is a game that they're playing on you, but this is not something that you end up winning. It's not your game. You have to get completely out of this matrix. And how you get out of that is you actually begin to take your energy and divert it elsewhere, primarily towards yourself. So this is why you would need to do that. So because you had all these people who signed up for this new king, what you had go on is a thing that a lot of people are not aware of of what the elections is all about. Why is it so important to get you to get out there and vote? If the house of cards is as they say it is and they choose who's gonna be the president and they control things anyway, why are you so important? Your energy. There is a ritual that takes place. When you go to the ballots, Okay, now the ballot is the female name of Baal. There's Baal, who's the old lord, the old king, and then there's the Baal's wife, the ballot, right? So you go to the ballots. You cast your vote, okay? So casting is an occult term for when you actually project or direct your energy into something, like even like a, a fisher cast his line into the ocean, right? So now you cast your vote. OK, and then now what takes place is you must place your two dimensional imprint, which is your signature. You must place your two dimensional imprint on into this system as a confirmation that on that level, which is two dimensional, that's the lower planes, you agree to what's about to occur. You elect this king. OK, so that's what that whole thing is really about. And then once that's done, on another level that most people never see because they don't have active third eyes, they ran basically consents to this new rulership. So that's why that's necessary because then once that happens, now all the energy of the people can be diverted into that. And this is so powerful about how the future is being written in the moment. We are also experiencing now one of the largest moons in 50 years the super moon as they call it, the beaver moon. And the reason why that's actually happening is because there's so much energy in the cloud, as it's called, so much thoughts and things going on prior to this election that now this full moon, people will reap what they sow. And this is like the whole thing with how the world works on that clock. Like a farmer, you don't plant during new moon. You plant closer towards full moon because that's when the plants are going to be abundant. That's when they're going to, to, to begin to sprout and to grow. So, you know, simple things, <laughs> most simple things on the planet, the farmer knows. And in that, the farmer actually becomes the one who is the king. 
in, in, of their own life because they become sustainable. They become sovereigns. Instead of depending on the surrogate mothers and fathers to take care of you, you actually start tapping into your own power and allowing your power to take care of you. And this is something that we've been talking about for six or seven years about how to begin to go right into your body instead of eating their poisons and eating their candies and eating their fast foods and their GMOs, how to start to isolate in your neighborhood, in your little city or town or whatever, where those farmers are that are growing the right food so that you can become a human again. How you can actually be still stay in the matrix in attempt to your job and whatever you may have to do until you can self-substantiate, but how not to get compromised by the matrix by steering conversations, understanding how to not keep your mind tuned into negativity. All these things we've been teaching and people have been learning in our faction for seven years now. But now all those people know, and so don't email me about the, the, you know, the, oh, what do we do now? Those people should know that now it's time for action. Now it's time for you to take yourself to that next level. And if you haven't cleaned out your body, if you haven't looked at these videos about this knowledge that are there, that are free, and then if you haven't jumped into the university and seen it as value to invest in a curriculum based system that's going to teach you how to align your entire self and let you also understand what's going on in the world around you, then now it's time. It's time for you to invest in yourself because this is what's going to happen. This same phenomena, the joker or the wild card, doesn't just apply to this government system. It doesn't just apply to these occultists. It applies to everyone. So if you want to be the joker and the wild card in the whole thing, and instead of you getting caught up and, and, and whipped around and screwed and, and drained by these energies, you decide to take that wild step into the, your own direction and decide to tap out of the whole thing and make and do something that is basically impossible. Do something that they did not expect. Do something to where you are moving in mysterious ways by all of a sudden just saying, you know what, I'm done, I'm dropping out. I'm tuning out of that and I'm tuning into myself. And that's what we're talking about here. I'm gonna say a couple more things and then I wanna get this out because I've talked for years, I've put hours and hours of recordings into explaining to people what is going to happen. Knowing the future is not difficult. Preparing for the future is where the task is. So we've been sitting there preparing for the future. Do you know I'm not preparing for Donald Trump's? Like that was obvious of what was going to happen. There was going to be a wild card. If you understand the tarot, understand the tarot that they're on, you know that their Trump card comes next. But the deeper part about this is, is that I'm actually preparing for AI and how we're going to have to deal with AI. So why people are whining to me about Donald Trump, I'm over here launching spirit tech. Like, for instance, this device, which I've created, it not only structures water, but it sends power back into water. And this is how it functions, and it has another apparatus that goes on the bottom that does something that you'll see if you happen to achieve receiving one of these. And what you have in here, well, I'll leave for another conversation, but it's basically how you can infuse power into your own body, okay? So these are the things that we need to be focusing on. These are the things that we need to be doing. These are the things that we need to be creating. Because if we're, again, paying attention all the time to what is going on with these people, then we don't have that clear space in our consciousness to pull these inventions right out of the all-knowing space. And if you haven't heard any of my message before, I recommend that you check out this recent recording that I have called Halloween Hypnosis. So you could just for a moment start getting an idea and start grasping how deep the level of hypnosis is that most people are in. We're all in it. Even me, I probably am still about two levels under, Why some people may be 20 or 200 levels under. So even when people email me right now and they ask me and they're all in this frenzy, it only proves to me more, especially if there's someone that I know, it only proves to me more how they actually haven't been listening to what I've been saying. This is not, again, about what's happening right now. It's about what's coming. And if we adjust ourselves properly, we are more than capable of actually creating an entirely different reality for ourselves. And if you don't believe that that's possible, you need to realize that there's people all around. You can't even call it a world anymore, right? <laughs> like, talk to flat earthers about that. There are people that are all around the vast consciousness that have chose to do that. 
Humans are not the only beings in the entire all existence. There's many, there's myriads of other beings and how they choose to live their existence is based on the level and the control of their own mind and the collection and the consciousness of their own community and the resonance of what the people in that community want. And if you are following uh, these dark lords and all these, these megalomaniac capitalists into the pit to fulfill their biblical traditions and Abrahamic consciousness, then that's on you still because you're the one responsible for hitting the switch. So this is what I have to say. There's a new advent coming. Do not waste your time with the Trump situation. Get yourself self-substantiated because AI is on the way. And if you notice, okay, so they ju they've been running the AI heavy across the news, obviously just with the advent of Google Home, where these devices are listening all the time. Echo is listening all the time. Siri is listening all the time. Because when you say, hello, Google, or something like that, a device in your house will begin to respond to you right away and say, yes, what do you need, right? But it's listening all the time. And it has also microphones that hear through walls. They were talking about that this thing has microphones that we have yet to put in some of the stuff that we use every day. OK, because they have all these technologies that they're unfolding in this new AI system to where basically things we start to become managed by machines. Starts off with the self-driving car. Now it's the self-driving truck. Right. So how truck drivers feel about the self-driving truck? Probably about how Americans feel right now about Donald Trump. Most of them. Right. But that also brings up another point that there are a large group of people that are actually supporting in many tenses even the ideology of bigotry. And like I said, it's, it's revealing a nasty scar that has actually never healed since slavery days. Meaning that people have still not been allowed to come together to rectify their differences. What's gone on is that the divide and conquer has taken place. This so-called Illuminati has moved in and has governed everyone basically just by money. You can like a person if you're making money with them or you depend on them some way. But in the behind the doors, you could say something like, oh, that old cracker or oh, that nigga and still have that whole paradigm going on in your mind because the goal for them is divide and conquer. So they're going to set up the enemy right in front of you. And it's mainly going to be the person that is actually your true ally. All right. So remember that we are each other's allies, that it's really us against them. And we outnumber them, but we have lost a great deal of our ancestral connection. I mean, even if you're from Ireland, what do your people really do? Like your, your people weren't just Vikings if you were from Britain or all these different cultures, they're Vikings. No, you got to go into your history and find what your people were connected to, how they were connected to nature, how they understood their power within, how they were strong, how they could peer into other realities, how their physical bodies and spiritual bodies and mental bodies were really developed. Don't go for the history, or the one, the conqueror story that they want to give to you to tell tell you that basically your ancestors in a cave or your ancestors were Neanderthals, your ancestors that were in straw huts, et cetera, et cetera. But likewise, don't be played. There are people around you right now, organizations and factions that are already aligned in their own consciousness with division. They do not believe in the multinational approach. They would rather try to uber inch, triumph on their own. Good luck. Because what we're dealing with here, just with our own consciousness, because we're all connected, there's something that we're all going to have to do together one way or another. But the thing is, is that that's this this timeline. That's just what's going on here. And hopefully while you're here in this world, you can become a legend and do something that most people never thought could be done, that you could then do something impossible and ha harness your power and your energy and your knowledge and your intelligence to become something. And that's what happens here. But there's another space, a space that's far more greater, a space that has no limits known as the all knowing. And we have that within us. And if you didn't think that it was there, I'll ask you a question. When these people go into comas and then they come out speaking other languages, Google it, Mandarin, Sanskrit, uh, Spanish, and never had learned those languages before, where in which did they get that from? 
Where in which does that reside? When these people get into a zone and they start worrying about if they're going to lose and if they start worrying about, start worrying about what's going to be the consequences and they just get into it and they get in that zone and they start shooting that ball or they start running or they start doing whatever in that zone and what they're able to accomplish over what they're normally able to accomplish with their mind and thinking about all the fears, how does that come about? It's because it's already inside. So I just want to tell you is remember, all these people out here that are still playing that game, ah, namaste, blah, 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 no, 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 no. Let's get prepared. And how you get prepared and how you're never surprised or caught with your pants down is you actually self-substantiate. And how you do that is you take a look at all your intake, anything you're taking in. If it's not educating you, if it's not giving, pushing power into you, let it go, cut it off, and let today and what happens today be the reason. Because if you see what just occurred, which seemed almost impossible, and it happened, you can imagine what's to come. In fact, actually, you don't have to imagine. You can get right into yourself. Wholeness and Balanced Vibrations, I'll talk to you soon.